Hope everyone's having a great weekend. What are we doing today, Josh? We are looking for tacos. You woke up and you wanted some tacos. Yes. Now I would say, obviously my favorite food is anything Asian, but my second favorite food group, Mexican. We found a bunch of taco trucks on Google. We're gonna go see if they're any good. So first stop is a taco truck really close to our house. It's parked next to the gas station down the street from our apartment and it has some of the best tacos we've ever had. We really love coming down here. I just don't remember what their name is. And they only take cash, so Josh is going to go get money right now. So the first one is the breakfast taco that has like bacon and eggs and onions and stuff in it, I think. No cheese, because Katu ordered it with no cheese on a corn tortilla, as it should be. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Wow. That's a really good breakfast taco, but it is missing the cheese. But the bacon's not too crispy. Eggs are cooked really well. It's even seasoned really well. That's a really good taco, just no cheese. Next up is their Al Pastor. Now we've been to this taco truck multiple times and this is our favorite taco. So I already know I'm gonna like it. Put some lime on, get a little bit of this green salsa on here, which is delicious and not too spicy. And it's that, that Al Pastor with onions and cilantro, again on a corn tortilla actually really excited. We fucked up in starting with our favorite taco place, but... Holy shit. I desperately love this taco. It's so good. And it's... There's a little tiny taco truck next to a freaking Valero gas station. And that taco is like $2.50. And it is... Mmm! El Rey Del Taco. We'll put the address down in the description. Get their Alpastor taco to bang. Really good. Okay, folks, we are rushing to our second truck right now because it closes in about 45 minutes. It's called Taco Brothers, and it got amazing reviews on Google. We gotta get there fast. So we were at Taco Brother, and we asked them what their favorite taco was, and they said it was the El Pastor again, which I'm not upset about. So it's got uh, the pork, the El Pastor, the cilantro, onion on a corn tortilla, and we put some of this uh, green chili sauce on it. Oh my god. Holy shit. It was really good, the meat's super tender. Very spicy, it's very hot. Just came out of the kitchen, but they even got, I think, the little pieces of pineapple in here. Oh, shit, it's really good. <laughs> yep. Catch who doesn't get any. So the next taco truck is Pueblo Viejo, and it's a little distance away, but it's got amazing reviews on Google, and we're heading there right now. I'm so proud that she got Pueblo Viejo. We practiced it like 20 times. Catu does not speak Spanish, so. 
<laughs> well done. So proud. <laughs> We're sitting in an area called, I believe, the Cosmic, and it's just a lot of picnic tables, a variety of different food trucks. Uh, they serve alcohol as well as the food. They spray down the whole area with water mist, and it is lovely. This is the barbacoa taco from Pueblo Viejo. It's got the, the barbacoa, it's got onion, cilantro, we put some lime on it, we got this green sauce, creamy green sauce on mine, and like a green salsa for cats. I'm actually really excited about this one. Oh, shit. It's like a Texas taco. The barbacoa is almost more like pulled pork or a marinated pork. The pork is cooked perfectly. It's fantastic. I'm sorry. It's, it's really good. It was just different and weird. I'm gonna take another bite. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. That is fucking delicious. It's killer. But I don't think cats gonna like it. I love it. I'm gonna finish this barbacoa taco from Pueblo Viejo at Cosmic. Put the address in the description. I highly, highly recommend this. We are heading home now. We've had a lot of tacos, three fantastic taco trucks. Uh, so we're gonna go home, take a break, let ourselves digest, and then this evening go out uh, and find more taco trucks. This is Josh's favorite. So this next part of the video has to come with a warning. We came home, we took a break, we were gonna go out at night for some dinner tacos. But then this next part happened. So, I will put a link down in the description that will jump you ahead to the, to the rest of the video and you won't have to see what's coming up because it is a flurry of vulgarities and a pretty awful trigger for folks with arachnophobia like myself. So if you don't wanna see any of that, Click the link in the description, you'll jump ahead. But if you're all right with it, that is starting now. Oh, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Is it just the, the weather? I don't know. Oh, he's getting on the thing, he's getting on the thing. Come on, get on it. I don't know how to lift him up, though. Get. No, no, don't get. hurt him, honey. I'm not trying to hurt him, I'm trying to scare him so he backs up. You get. <laughs> you get. I just need him to back up. Gloves. Fucking gloves? Get. Is it a tarantula? Yes, that's a tarantula. Do they bite hard? Are they mean? Well, they're not poisonous, but they do bite. Okay, first, first, let's test his temperament. Test his temperament. Oh, you've been slapping him. So I have, I have never hit him. Bump the thing a little bit. Let's just see how he responds to being moved. He's pretty chill about being moved. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, are you really about to do what the fuck I think you're about to do? I have to, honey. We can't leave him here. And you can't set fire to the apartment. So we have to do something. FYI, option two <laughs> is absolutely a possibility. I need shoes first. <laughs> <laughs> shoes. I'll stand guard. Yes. Yo, dude, I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> is there any way we can lift it up with that? We have a shovel. Why the fuck would we have a shovel? <laughs> Do you have any way of shooing him? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. All right. Well, that's a problem. Okay. At this point, I'm tempted to just murder him. No. Okay, why can I murder the little spiders, but I can't murder the big one? Okay, how are you gonna murder I was gonna smack him to death with this broom. You jump! Look at Avery! That's also a possibility. Okay, so, so just don't let him run left. Whatever you do, don't let him run left. Okay, now, now shove him. Not too hard, not too hard. If you don't wanna kill him or hurt him, don't shove him too hard. <laughs> house guest it was not <laughs> we've been home we rested we battled and now we're hungry again so we're heading to Qantas tacos see you there
still waiting for the taco to cool down at uh, Qantas Tacos. I'm really excited about it. But they were out of Mexican Coke, but they had this, which is an apple soda. It's so freaking good. I really like it. So these are the Sadero tacos from Qantas Tacos. Sadero is a cut of meat from between the ribs and the skin of beef. It's really tender, really good, really thinly sliced. So it looks like it's got that, it's got onions, cilantro, some of that sauce, and it is definitely a very fresh made corn tortilla. Yep, we got three of them. I'm super happy we did. Phenomenal. Um, they're, they're a little oily, but that's the juice from the meat. The flavor is perfect. The meat comes through perfectly. The sauce that's on there is just the right amount of spiciness. The lime plays with it really well. And it's the best corn tortilla we've had today. We might order some more tacos. Mmm. I really like it. It is a little oilier than the other tacos we've had today. But the meat is so flavorful. And I love the shell. And I like that it's smaller, so that it's more bite-sized for us, because we did order more tacos than we have in the previous places. But highly recommend. That was such a good taco. It's so good, in fact, Josh had to go get us some soda. And so now we're going to Taco Flat Airstream, a cute little taco truck, uh, not far from here. We're gonna go eat some more. ended up not going to Taco Flats Airstream because it ended up being not an Airstream and kind of in a bar area and we were not interested in being in a big crowd with a lot of people. We're heading now to where baby? Wahoo's for a fish taco. My favorite taco is the fish taco. Baby, did we have any luck at Wahoo's? Wahoo's was also kind of a bar which was jam-packed. And again, still COVID. <laughs> we're skipping that one and now I think we're heading to Las Trancas. Oh well. We will bear on, let you know how it goes. Las Trancas, and uh, to be quite honest, I really like these neighborhood patios with food trucks in Austin. It really is something that defines Austin for me because I've never experienced it before, and it really gives a sense of community. And it's nicer than going to, you know, like Sixth Street and going to a bar and getting tacos at some place there. Uh, this is, you know, community. This is local, and it has a much greater charm for us. So the dude saw us filming and said that we could film no problem. So I went up to get okay to our food. He goes, let me get you some extra sauces. He goes, this is our green, this is our red, but this is our VIP, very spicy. So I think Kat's really going to enjoy that. That one's pretty. That one's not spicy at all at first. And then it is. That's really good. We put some of the spicy sauce on one of these. We got two al pastor tacos and one asada. We'll try the al pastor first. That's our favorite type of taco. Definitely a homemade corn tortilla. I think there's like, there's some caramelized onions as well as the raw white onions with the cilantro and that sauce. And the pastor is perfectly cooked. Like it's got some char to it. It's not too greasy. Corn tortilla is really, really well made. It hasn't seeped through. 
I don't know if you can tell from my excitement as compared to all the other tacos. So far my favorite's been El Rey's El Pastor. This might beat it, I don't know yet, but this is really, really effing good. Holy shit. Give me the camera, you gotta try that. Compete with our favorite El Rey's tacos. Really well cooked meat, not oily. I still think El Rey's is my favorite. This is a very close second. And I don't mind the heat, because I've got balls. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tacos. That was a lot of tacos. That was a lot of tacos. <laughs> that was so many tacos. Favorites. My favorites. Yes. Pick my top three. Number one, I still think El Rey. Really? Yeah, as I was oh. driving home and thinking about it, El Rey's Pastor Taco to me is still, it's like the first taco food truck I got anything from in Austin when we moved down here and I, holy shit, I love it. And then I'd say after that was Las Francas. They had an, a banging sauce. That sauce was so yeah. effing good. He called it the VIP sauce. I don't know what its actual name is, but it's really, really good. <laughs> then after that is Qantas. I think that one was a little too oily for me. Yeah? yeah? Oh, I really like that one. What are your favorites? El Rey's, and I think it's because they burn the meat a little bit more. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a little bit more char to it. Yeah, and I, I love it. And then Estrancos, yeah. That one was good. But our two favorite places were the two that probably felt the most authentic to us, which is El Rey's, caters to the locals on this side, and Las Francas, which very clearly caters to the locals on that side. Yeah. That was around the East Austin side, which we were at last week. Yeah, we actually walked by that place <laughs> yeah. when we were doing our last video from last Sunday, which we'll link mm -hmm. somewhere. All of them were good. None yes. of them were bad. You, like you that's the greatest go part. Wrong yeah, at any every of them. single one of them would be phenomenal. But and great service. Great, really all of them really friendly. friendly. Yeah. And great prices everywhere. It was like two dollars and fifty cents a taco, effectively. Yeah. Um, couple of things. Always get the corn tortilla. Two El Rey's. Man, it, it looks like this. We asked him if we could film, and he looked at the trailer for a second and he goes, it's not very clean. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, that's cool, man. Like, that's it's the charm of the place, and it really is. It's, it's right next to a Valero gas station, but it's packed all the time it's open. So we'll put the address down there. I highly, highly recommend. Their phone number will be in there as well. You can call them and order ahead to pick it up because they make everything from scratch and fresh, and it is Absolutely incredible. My we'll put favorite a, taco place, but we'll put them all on the website addresses for all the places yeah. we went to today. Yeah. yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, Ooh. ring a bell. <laughs> it would be super rad if we had more comments from people that didn't share my same last name. <laughs> Mom and dad, we super dig that you guys leave in the comments <laughs> and it helps. But if someone else is watching this video and you like it, please also leave a comment. It makes us feel happy in our hearts. <laughs> That's important to us. Very important to us. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you check out these taco places. Yes. Yeah. Support your local businesses. But wear a mask. Yeah.